Hey guys and welcome back to another AFI DIY. I'm Maddie and in today's video we'll be making a super cool transparent shampoo. This formula is very conditioning and foaming with a really clear orange yellow look to it. Before we start let's take a look at our supplies and raw materials. For supplies you will need a large glass beaker or mixing bowl, a glass stirring rod, a spatula, a pH tester or pH strips, gloves and safety goggles, and a suitable container for packaging. To make about 16 ounces of shampoo, you will need 48.83% or 7.8 ounces of deionized water, 1.5% or 0.24 ounces of glycerin, 40% or 6.4 ounces of Stepanol WA Extra K or Stepanol WA Extra HP. 4.8% or 0.77 ounces of Amphazol HCG or Amphazol HCG HP. 1.5% or 0.24 ounces of Stepan Mild L3. 0.2% or 0.03 ounces of DL Panthenol Crystalline. 1% or 0.16 ounces of preservative, 2% or 0.32 ounces of fragrance, 0.17% or one drop of colorant, citric acid as needed, sodium hydroxide as needed, sodium chloride as needed. To make this shampoo smell as good as it feels, I went to AFI's extensive library of fragrances and picked out a good one. Today I will be using mango butter. Smells like summer, really, really smooth too. Make sure whichever fragrance you pick out for your shampoo is IFRA approved to be skin safe. You can check out whether your choice of AFI fragrance is skin safe easily on our web store. Now that we have our fragrance picked out and ready to go, we just have to gear it with our safety goggles and gloves. All right, let's jump right in. First, combine your deionized water, glycerin, Stepanol WA Extra K, Amphazol HCG, and Stepan Mild L3. Begin mixing all the ingredients until clear, like this. Then add DL Panthenol into the solution until fully dissolved. This will give our shampoo a conditioning effect. Once dissolved, add in your preservative, fragrance, and color in that order. Next, all that's left is to adjust the pH and viscosity of the shampoo. We want our shampoo to have a pH within 5.8 to 6.5. If your mixture is above 6.5 on the pH scale, slowly add in citric acid to lower it. If it is below 5.8, slowly add sodium hydroxide to raise it. Do so using your pH tester or strips to keep a close eye on the changing pH levels. Once you've reached a target pH range, you can adjust the viscosity of the shampoo using sodium chloride if you want a thicker, more viscous formula, but this step is optional. Now it is ready to be put into a pump or squeeze bottle for ease of use and you're done! To use the shampoo, massage it into wet hair and lather into a creamy foam. Rinse it out thoroughly and your hair will be fresh and clean. This product ended up costing us just under $2 to make. It can be sold wholesale for $4 to $6 and retail for $8 to $10. If you like this shampoo, make sure to pair it with our DIY body wash to provide your customers with an entire line of personal care products. As always, thanks so much for watching AFI DIYs, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. If you hit that bell icon, you'll become a member of our notification squad and never miss an update from us. I can't wait to see you guys back in the next one. And until then, I'm Maddie. Bye!